great, we are born winners, shining bright like a star, the gift of God to Africa, FC Fanyuba, united we stand, hand in hand, bringing glory to our land. Anye bundi meri, anye gadi gide, football club in Fanyuba. Anye bundi meri, alambra warriors, football club in Fanyuba. Welcome to West Ham Stadium. Thank you. Uh, you're here. Ben TV Sports. Please tell us why you're in West Ham today. Well, today is a, a big day for FC Fanyoba, for Capital Oil and Gas. Uh, we're signing a partnership agreement with uh, West Ham United uh, that involves so many things um, football development, uh, branding, um, uh, promotion of our brand also uh, around the globe, and uh, training of our uh, um, academy. You know, West Ham is the best football academy in the world, and um, uh, synergy with us in Africa. Uh, we want to be the best brand in Africa, and uh, we are very ambitious. Uh, second, our uh, second year, and uh, see where we have uh, what we are doing today in Europe, and we'll continue to take it from here. Okay, so how do you think this will impact the local league in Nigeria? Well, uh, it's. Um, I mean, it's a dream of every footballer in Nigeria to come and have um, at least spend a week of training in this kind of uh, football club, um, play in uh, this uh, Olympic, the best football stadium in Europe. That's where we are, uh, Olympic Stadium, London. Uh, and um, uh, academy-wise, you know, uh, our young Nigerians need to also uh, come over here. Um, uh, our vision is to to develop. 10 Ronaldo, 10 Messi in the next five years, and it's a, it's a vision with a uh, vision with uh, started in Nigeria, uh, uh, football made in Anambra State, uh, if one footballer, uh, one family, one footballer project, uh, which also FIFA president endorsed as well during his uh, visit to Nigeria two week, few weeks ago. So. Okay, with this program going on, how do you think the West Ham football fans or the West West Ham football team? How do you think this will impact also on their on their football program? Well, uh, um, I mean, uh, bringing talents from Nigeria. You know, we are highly talented. 170 million people. Uh, it's a big uh, value for West Ham. Um, tapping into 170 million Nigerian uh, football uh, fan. It's a big value for West Ham, and at the same time, for Capital Oil, who is also the financial sponsor. Great. We are born winners, shining bright like a star. The gift of God to Africa, FC Fanyuba. United we stand, hand in hand, bringing glory to our land. Anye bundi meri, anye gadi gide, football club in Fanyuba. Aye bundi meri alambra warriors Football club in Fanyuba Did any of you watch the game? Nigeria, uh, sorry, um, West Ham um, games today? Brilliant interception, but was something, something caught my attention and that was um, a sponsorship from Nigeria. That's where uh, this program today will eventually be pulling its heart onto. Ah, without wasting time. Um, I haven't changed my name, I won't. The day I do, you will be the first to know. Chris Obukwalo is my name. Nice to know you're joining us. I could only promise we'll take phone calls, but the uh, only time we decide how many of you will join me on today's show. Um, without wasting time, I have a special guest in these studios. Um, let me start from uh, a man who loves um, the run leather game, who has been in it, who has been organizing at the back of the camera, I will have to say, who most of you might not know, but tell me something, he is indeed good with what he does. Barry Chukuma is here with us in the studio. Barry, it's nice to have you in the studios. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Um, that's Barry. And also with us here, 
You might also hear his name. You know, he is someone who is always at the back of every other thing. Yeah, the junior brother, you would say, but then again, he is someone who works very, very, very hard. Um, Chukuma Uba is also here in this studio. Um, Chukuma, it's nice to have you in the studios. Thank you very much. Brilliant. And so um, they have already let the cat out. And so they say the big masquerade doesn't come out in the morning, does it? <laughs> it's a nice job. <laughs> we have many studios with us. A man who can hold his own when it's Panthers most. A man who has helped so many professionals and become even experts. A man who has uh, helped in his capacity. He says now what he's doing is to make sure there is uh, um, joy in the hearts of the women and, of course, in the hearts of the kids. Kids who will one day become messy. Ronaldo, just name them all. JJ Okocha, those who have transpired their parents. And of course, uh, has done things greatly. It is uh, with uh, great gratitude we introduce the man uh, who perhaps in no time to come, one could say uh, he will be having Nigeria uh, football in his hands. If finally, Patrick. Mba. Don't forget the doctor. <laughs> it's in the studios. Um, it's nice to have you in the studios, if I Thank you. Thank you. Thank Brilliant. You, um, let's, let, let's start, um, you know, without wasting time, let's start by, you know, congratulating you in what happened uh, with West Ham. I mean, this, this, this doesn't come just like a fluke. How did you crack this? How, how did this, you know, imaginate? Well, we are trying to develop uh, football and um, we want to maximize the entire potential. You know, we need to, we, we don't have time. So um, we have to link up with a global football uh, family. Um, haven't um, started last year. So this year we are coming into England. And then also we want to go to all other parts of the world. For now, um, the. This partnership is something that is great. Mm -hmm. uh, we, need to, we need to harness it and then take it from this point. Good. Um, we've seen, uh, wh why West Ham? Many might want to ask, why West Ham Football Club? Well, um, you, you, you need to have a Midas touch to know um, the next level. Uh, West Ham is a club uh, we want to partner with and um, we, thank God we've uh, already partnered with them. Uh, West Ham uh, have that culture of being the best uh, academy in the world and um, uh, if you have the best academy in the world um, you need to find a team that also needs to tap into that uh, academy potential mm -hmm. because what we want to do is to train um, Nigerians and get them to the level of Ronaldo. They don't need any other skill mm -hmm. than training. So we need to synergize with a global um, club that uh, have, uh, you, you remember, uh, friend, um, uh, Rio, uh, Rio Ferdinand? Yeah, all of these uh, great players from England, uh, they are all product of um, West Ham, and that's why they call West Ham Academy of Football. Mm -hmm. So, um, tapping into West Ham was a key uh, asset for us, and also uh, West Ham coming into uh, uh, London Stadium now, uh, you know, uh, they are the second uh, biggest stadium in, the, in, in, in England uh, after Man U Stadium. So, and you can see the stadium is full to the brim. Uh, 56,000 uh, capacity. Mm -hmm. So having uh, West Ham um, uh, uh, partnering with them, now they are coming into London uh, from Berlin, um, Upton Park, you know, so many things. And then the, the, um, the visibility of um, West Ham is also coming up. Mm -hmm. And you should uh, always remember that uh, you should not despise the days of little beginning. So for us, it is a day of little beginning, but we, are, we, we saw gold coming and there's um, a lot of potential. Good. Uh, why I pause on you on, on that? Let me quickly go to um, Chukuma Mbaku, who is actually the chairman of uh, FC Ifani okay. Uba. I mean, th this is this is a huge honor for you guys um, to have a partnership with uh, Western. What it simply means is that there will be so many talents coming from Ifani Uba FC heading into West Ham, and uh, that's that's exactly what um, plenty of them will be doing. So there will be so pl plenty of players trying to clutch into your club. Is that what it is? Well, um, thank you very much. Um, you know, uh, it's always been like that because um, this is the only privately run club in Nigeria. And uh, since we started, we're actually uh, about 18 months old now. And uh, within that 18 months, we've done a lot of things and achieved a lot that you know, some of the clubs that are over 20 years haven't achieved because um, we came in and had a clear vision, which is setting standard at the end of the day, creating employment 
and uh, by God's grace, we've been doing well. That's why uh, we really turned around the Nigerian League because we had to make people understand and believe in the league. Now, when you go back to Nigeria, you realize that a lot of people actually look up to, you know, watching our games at back home right now. Um, about the the relationship, uh, West Ham really are eager to even have that because uh, they are definitely they are looking out to get the best hands or the best players to play, and we actually are looking out to get professionals that will add value to our league. Mm -hmm. So it's a win-win situation, and uh, we are not here on our own capacity alone. We just come here to represent Nigeria at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So it's I mean it's a, it's, a, it's a positive one for Nigeria and by extension Africa. Yeah, because uh, we're looking at uh, Capital Oil and Gas Limited Nigeria, that was actually the, the partnership that, that was signed. Okay, moving it, moving it forward, what was the aim? Because I, I want to understand the aim for the project. Okay, um, one um, partnership, uh, technical partnership. We will we'll start having um, the uh, West Ham coaches coming to Nigeria, their ship scout. We'll have a uh, talent hunt. You know, which we are going to, uh, you know, jointly uh, uh, promote in Nigeria. So it's all about West Ham trying to, first and foremost, you know, when you go into business discussion, you, you need to come from a stronger position. Uh, we are stronger because we are bringing in our funds and um, we are also trying to um, uh, market 170 million Nigerians, mm -hmm. you know, into the heart of. So they are going to tap into a football, crazy football ba That's fan base. You know, uh, so many things coming for them. Uh, Nigerians in London, Africans in London now will now know that this is our club. You know, so many people will start turning into West Ham because they are also doing something. And then uh, our vision in um, from Anambra State and also Nigeria is to 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 to, to develop five Ronaldos, five Messi in the next five years from just one uh, state in Nigeria. We may get ten of them from the aggressive con uh, concept of our uh, position today. So if we have um, five Messi's, five Ronaldos coming out from Anambra State in the next five years, it is more, it's bigger than our state economy. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so, so that's why so many things must go. And the, for us coming into England, coming into West Ham, it's a, it's a starting point that can also you know, spread to other parts of Europe. So uh, we want to take it from one step to the, to the other. Good. And I'm being told that you are organizing a very big banquet for young staff, as you have mentioned. Yeah. And there will be a stadium built. Yeah. This is yeah. not the government building. <laughs> this is you building for Nigerian kids. Well, is, that, uh, is that right? Yeah, we are, we, we are not building a stadium. We are building a games village. A games village. A games village. I have about uh, uh, six different football pitches and um, and the standard a FIFA uh, approved stadium. So, and uh, if you look at uh, yesterday, uh, the former uh, president of Nigeria was there. And while we are in the um, UK here, mm -hmm. so uh, we, we, are, we are not there in Nigeria, but um, he, he came to uh, you know, appreciate what we are doing back home um, and so many other things uh, 50,000 football families fiesta is coming up in november mm -hmm. uh, it's called football made in anambra state uh, if uh, one footballer uh, one family one footballer concept so we are trying to uh, develop a consciousness of football in every family and then um, we will move them also to our academy you know so so many things and then this is part of why we have to tap into um, West Ham. So as we continue to develop talents, mm -hmm. we we'll continue to move them to West Ham. West Ham will be a, a kind of um, our network to spread, to move our talents across the Euro across Europe. But not just only uh, West Ham. We intend to go to other parts of Europe. But for now, in UK, we are working with West Ham. Good. I've just seen the governor of uh, Anambra State there. Yeah. Um, l l let me let me check on my how how supportive. Has the governor of Anambra State been? Because I've always said that, I mean, he needs to come out to show his support and, of course, to get off these kids out of, uh, 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 out of the, 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 the good clothes of what they are doing out there in Anambra State. Um, but it's nice to know he can, you know, sit with you and discuss with you. But I need you to tell me the truth. Is this supporting the project? Well, for him to have visited the, the site... That's uh, kudos to him. I mean, that means uh, he's uh, encouraging what we're doing already. But, you know, um, in Nigeria, the, the, uh, uh, if there's any way 
the clubs can be privately run, definitely they'll do better. Mm -hmm. You know, it's unlike what we have here. It's not a tradition per se. And, uh, you know, coming into the stadiums and everything, all these things are things we're trying to, we're trying to uh, bring up a kind of revolution in sports because uh, we have uh, made people to understand the need to engage in sports mm -hmm. because uh, back in Nigeria, the clubs, the state-owned clubs are not doing excellently well. You remember, you, I mean, if you recall from the beginning of this discussion, I made it clear that we are the only privately owned club in Nigeria and everybody's looking up to what we're trying to work out. And... Uh, you know, all these things are all about decision, vision, and the professionalism. And uh, if you should uh, go to all these uh, state-run clubs, you there are so many interests. Yes, I understand that because I also mm. know that there are some clubs that left their players at the stadium and they stayed for two days in the in, in the airport. So sad. Anyway, we'll come to discuss about the ugly things of the Nigerian league. But then again, Barry, let me come to you. What do you think about the notion which Ifan Yuba has been presenting? Do you think he's um, he's biting too much or is he in the right frame? Um, I'm surprised of what happened today in West Ham Stadium. Brilliant. We went to West Ham Stadium today. Um, they really, did, uh, when we get there, they didn't believe that a Nigerian team, a private owned club, yeah. would pull the kind of way. They were even surprised that so many people from Nigeria are arriving today with first class from Nigeria coming to watch the football on the. Um, anyway, as I said, I want to see West Ham, the biggest football club team in this country is Chelsea and Arsenal that made Nigerian support. Mm. But with his support now... But there will be a turnaround. There will be a turnaround for West Ham. And the whole, the whole um, team, the whole management team of uh, West Ham United is so happy to have them today. Good. Brilliant. And, and, and as they said, okay, let, let me quickly go back to, to Dr. Patrick, if I... Okay, the, the most important thing in terms of you developing Nigerian football, because we have to say that the league is really bad. I mean, there are so many bad stories we hear about the Nigerian league. Why do you even think of getting into something that is already porous? Well, uh, agent of Guillaume Mai starts with a step. Um, uh, football is a part of... Uh, uh, Personally, my life, you know, I started football I started as a player, but uh, you can't just just abandon um, the football uh, business because um, things have not been working. Actually, um, um, if you understand that some of these governors uh, uses this football club for their political interest, not just to advance. That's why you don't see as uh, most of our clubs, you know getting into the finals of African Cups, mm -hmm. you know, apart from uh, Enyimba, you know, uh, you don't have it. And um, in, a, in a country with 20 clubs in the Premier League and then 18 of them or 19 of them are all government owned, mm -hmm. apart from uh, MFM that came up, Gewa was also with us and then it was suspended. So MFM, Ikorodu United is coming from, for Super Sports, you know, um, and um, though they are global, um, a company, uh, uh, Super Sports is backing up Ikorodu United, MFM is also backing up, and then um, uh, our own club is also moving up today. Congratulations as well. We won, uh, we had a away match. We are the only in the whole uh, Premier League uh, clubs today in Nigeria, we are the only club that secured a away win today yeah. against Warrior Wolves, you know. Um, so it was a double celebration for us back home and and, and here and here you know so <laughs> so, so get the anthem ready because we're going to play anytime there's a win there must be a, the anthem must be played so get it ready for us uh, to uh, uh, so, enjoy uh, that good and then uh, we are uh, the football family um, fifa president also endorsed you uh, know he was in nigeria mm -hmm. and uh, the fifa is passionate about our project and uh, they are also assisting us um, a lot in um, you know um, backing up technically so we are going to create, and this is the only place in the whole world, Anambra State, that is uh, bringing a kind of football revolution. Uh, 50,000 uh, fam uh, family fiesta, 50,000 family fiesta, you know, and 50,000 football, 50,000 boots, 50,000 jerseys. You know, it's going to be a revolution, and then it's going to, you know, it's going to shake the entire world of what we are going to do in Anambra State. And these are things uh, the private initiatives are coming up with. We we encourage other people to join us and look at what we are doing. Uh, what you're saying is it for Anambra 
They are Namberians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are starting. You know, sexuality begins at home, and I'm, 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 I'm not apologetic to that. Oh, okay. uh, you know, <laughs> so for me, uh, uh, Anambra is the key. Anambra is the key. We we want to create a football economy in Anambra State, yeah. and then um, any other person that wants to emulate what we are doing can as well replicate or join us. Yeah. You know, ask us for consultations. If you are watching the program, it is your show ABC Sport with your sincerely Chris Obukwal. We dissecting what if I Oba has done actually in the United Kingdom using sports to you know to engage those who have seen Nigeria as um, uh, practically very very corrupt, isn't it? But now I think things are beginning to change around. Let me tell you this: if you're an Anambra person or an Amberian, as they will say, it is time for you to indeed get very very busy because things are coming. You have your brothers or little ones who is going to do it. If I Oba said it's that time for you to bring them very close because uh, um, a village will be built and of course they will be there to practice football. And not only football, I'm being told, let me just get together clear, they will also be educated. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are setting up a football academy. Uh, and then also we have affiliation with Dundee University and uh, linguistic studies. You know, uh, there is a primary and secondary school. We've started with that. And then uh, a one-year course, linguistic. But it's all about talent, bringing them, giving them the kind of training that Ronaldo Messi, you know, the kind of academy things that they do. You know, and that's why we're partnering with uh, West Ham United. And then um, we're taking it from there. So many things coming up. It's so many things. You know, um, it's, it's, a, it's a games village that... Um, and, and also look at our Olympic, um, you know, team that just went uh, to the Olympic. And then nothing, nothing to write home about. Mm. So we want to bring in private uh, sector in initiative so that we can start uh, at least... If, if we have the next in the next four years, mm -hmm. if we're able to contribute maybe 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 percent of Nigerian contingent to the next Olympic, mm -hmm. and then we, I'll be very happy that at least I have changed the lives of Nigerians, you know, not just only in football, also in athletes, in athletics, and other other um, uh, areas of sport. So it's all about football economy. Good. Nice to know. Let me come back to you, um, uh, Tukuma. Tukuma, the truth about it is that as an as a number of person, I I, I, I remember Dodger United, you know, those who have seen it all there. But then again, I want you to tell me, what are you guys putting in place to see that Ifani Uba FC gets to what we call the CAF Champions League and the anthem will be sung there? What is being put in place? What are the arrangements? I need to see this future. I need you to, you know, why not tear it apart for me? Make it business. Chew and bite. Why not? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, 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 it's good you mentioned uh, some clubs. You even failed to mention, uh, you know, move a little bit away from Anambra State to talk mm -hmm. about Abiola Babes, Iwanya. Those who uh, have been there. And those who <laughs> have been there and uh, at the end of the day, they didn't continue. I've, you know, mm -hmm. I, I've battled with those questions a, a few times. But the simple answer is, those people who came in, they invested in sport, had good intentions. At the end of the day, they could not carry on. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. Uh, what we're doing now, we're first of all investing in an infrastructure. Mm -hmm. We're putting up something down there. So with that, those uh, buildings or with those structures, we're putting up the stadia, the games village, because we talked about the games, it's just all about football. Other games, we'll, we'll, we'll be having other games there, the school and every other thing. They never had such things. That's why they couldn't uh, last that long, because they relied on government uh, buildings. Mondays. Yes, but now, we are putting up uh, assets. Having to have assets, definitely you, definitely those assets will outlive you, definitely. And uh, secondly, you talked about the Continental. It's not only about Continental. I always tell people, we, we are trying to build a team. And we'll keep building a team. And by God's grace, as it is today, we are getting to where we intend being. We have Brazilians in our club. We have so many other players from different parts of Africa. It's never happened like this before. That's clear vision. We know where we're headed to. You understand? And uh, we're not talking about only continental. We have plans of even moving our players to come over to Europe. Last week, I came back from Spain. Two of my players were in the team that went uh, with the MPFL uh, team. To La Liga. To the La Liga. You know, we, we had three matches over there. At the end of the day, one of my players was the only one choosing a goalkeeper for that matter. <laughs> so that shows you the kind of quality we're putting in the team. Good. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's like my boss rightly said, a, million of, a journey of a million miles starts with a step. We'll get there. Good. Okay, let me come back to Ifan. Ifan, you have seen how, 
shameful in my own opinion um, the olympic has been for nigeria i mean they went they saw perhaps some people say they had 23 bronze medal but my brain tells me it's only one bronze they had um what is the problem with the nigerian we know i mean go if we go back to what has happened let's, let's not even go too far to 1980s and all of that no let's just re return it to 1996 where we at least four medals there about we didn't conquer in uh, in london here zero medal but when we say oh perhaps we have done well by doing bronze here um in your opinion what is the problem with nigerian sports well um it has to do with economy and then also uh low morale and um uh, there's no support. You look at Nigerians that have taken up nationalities of other countries, and uh, they are doing very well, um, but uh, yeah, they are wearing other countries' uh, uh, flag. I know. So for me, uh, that's why we want to continue. The only thing we can do to humanity now is to see how we can, you know, uh, get back to the basis, you know, train human beans you know so the, because there's nothing there's nothing different from someone from from nigeria in fact we have if you go to south africa compare nigeria and south africans they are not as splendid as we are but they have the infrastructure still they can't if you have a nigerian trained for one month he can you know beat a south african tra that trained for one year so all we need is training you know to invest in human cap uh, capacity mm. and that is where why we have chosen the part of um, going back home, you know, putting up this uh, games village, having it, you know, for our retirement, and then I use it as a platform because, li like we say, we look at the record of so many people that have ventured into some of these things in the past because they don't have that basic infrastructure. They didn't go far. So for us, we are bringing everybody, we are bringing FIFA to Anambra, we are bringing International Athletic Federation to Anambra State, we are bringing the whole world, we are bringing West Ham to Anambra, we are bringing UK to Anambra. we brought in Mo, uh, the former um, uh, uh, Everton, Everton um, coach. coach, you know, we, we are bringing so many people now to Anambra State so they can part with, with they, can, they, can, they, can, they, can, they can synergize with us and take us to next level. Brilliant. Um, indeed, uh, if you just joined us, this is what we call the breakthrough, the brainstorm of what is happening with Nigerian um, sports. And with us, it's a man who has held his own. Anyway, I'm going to take a quick break right now. And when we come back, it will be time for us to look at things critically. The closing ceremony is nearly upon us. Um, I'm being told that um, we have um, an attire that doesn't really, really portray Nigeria. Or does it? Anyway, when we come back, it will be time for me to open the lines for you to talk to us. And of course, give us your questions. Um, the president will still be here. If find you, Oba. Chukuma, Chukuma Barry, and of course, uh, Chukuma himself, Oba, uh, will also be here for us to all discuss and talk. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Anye bundi meri, anye gadi gide, football club ifanyo ba. Anye bundi meri, alamra warriors, football club ifanyo ba. Shining bright like a star The gift of God to Africa FC Fanyuba United we stand Hand in hand Bringing glory to our land Anye bundi meri Anye gadigide Football club in Fanyuba Anye bundi meri Alamra Welcome back. It's still the 
Africa biggest channel uh, in Europe, Ben Television Sky 182. And uh, yours sincerely, I haven't, I won't. When I do, you will be the first to know. Chris Obokal is my name. I'm delighted to know for those of you just joining us. And uh, you have just missed a bit, but uh, we just have another half an hour to go. But then again, I welcome all of you. And it is that time when perhaps you tell your friends, we have to call. Um, 0208-808-0693 is the number to call. Guess what? 60 seconds. Um, that is, so, so for those of you who are going to call, it has to be short. You have to make your questions, please, precise, um, because of time. Um, with us in the studio is uh, Dr. Patrick Ifanyi Oba. Uh, he is um, the president of FC Ifanyi Oba, and of course, owner of Capital Oil and Gas Limited. Also with us here is uh, Chukuma uh, Oba, a man who makes sure that uh, Ifanyi Oba FC uh, wants to get to the heart. So, the principle is on him to make sure that things go well. He is the chairman. Also with us here is a fan. And of course, he says his blood is written uh, a fan over. Anyway, he's a sports fan. Uh, Chukuma Barry is also here with us. It's in deli delighted to have you guys all. Anyway, I mean, so there are callers already lining up even before we came into the studios because we sent out a text message that there's going to be a show and they're all outside. <laughs> and they're all excited to know what we're doing today. 0208-808-0693. Remember, remember, one minute, and of course, that call will be done. Let's pick the first caller and see what they're saying. Hello, caller. Welcome to the program. It is your show. Hello, caller. Thomas, I'm into this Thomas. Hello, Thomas. How are you? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Brighton. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Quickly, yeah. um, Thomas, yeah, your question. You? <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that's a quick question. I wanted to ask uh, uh, if I commend the project you are embarking on. But I think the, the only problem I have with most projects is the case where there is no sustenance project, where maintenance becomes a problem. So you set up all these big, good things, but then follow it up with maintenance to see that it lasts and, and you have a legacy. So do you have anything, anything, uh, any plan ahead to ensure that there will be an adequate maintenance of all the structure you have put in place? Thank you, Thomas. Thank you. Another caller is on the line. We'll take all your questions. All the questions, there will be an answer to it. But I told you less than 60 seconds early because there are plenty of people lining up and I want to get all of them. Another caller, what's the name? Where are you calling from? Hello? Yeah, hi. What's the name? Where are you calling from? <laughs> I'm calling from UK. I'm Hi Manu. Hi Manu. Hi, Manu. Hi, Manu. Hi, Manu. Yes. Where are you calling from? Sorry. I'm calling from UK. From UK. Okay. Make your make your question or whichever one you want to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm not actually a question. I just want to actually um make a comment. Congrat congratulate uh, uh, Mr. Uba um, for what he's doing uh, and trying to bring the world to Anambra State. Uh, I think it's something that is encouraging and um, it's something I would like people to emulate. You know, when somebody is trying to do such a thing, I think we should all kind of um, make effort uh, to see the progress of such um, impact he's trying to, you know, create in our environment. Thank you. Thank you very much. Another caller joins us. I'm being told it's Otis. Hello, Otis. Where are you calling from? Oh, hi. I'm calling from London. From London. Otis, you have the floor. Um, I, I've just seen what um, Mr. Uba is doing. Uh, hello, Mr. Uba. Thank you. I, it's a great thing that you're doing there, but you see, the issue that I have is continuity. God forbid, in 20 years' time, we don't have a fine back. What have you put in place to make sure that this thing is a lasting legacy that will last for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years? Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, the last caller before I go back to him to respond, I'm being told it is Bob. Hello, Bob. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Um, I just want to congratulate Mr. Oba uh, for the good thing he is doing for um, a number of states, Nigeria and Africa in general. It's a good omen. It's a good development to get um, a such kind of uh, initiative and facility down there. I think that is what Nigeria needs, that is what the Southeast needs, that is what Africa needs to get to where we're going to. We need more private people to um, look into sports, look into developing Africa in general. Uh, once again, Mr. Ba, congratulations, a big thank you for what you're doing for the youth. Uh, thank you, Bob. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> 
um, now it is time for you to all of them have actually come well, to you. Well, uh, it is congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Well, uh, You've done it. It's it just uh, handsome, isn't it? Well, uh, first I want to thank um, um, the callers. Uh, for me, uh, everybody that knows me knows that I don't uh, back out from projects. Mm -hmm. Um, the concept of capital oil was created nine years ago. Uh, it's quite unfortunate uh, today. Uh, capital oil continues to be the leading downstream company, controlling close to 40% of the entire downstream supply. You know, uh, we we handle uh, we handle close to 57% um, uh, of NNPC uh, downstream distribution network. Mm -hmm. But this is something of nine years that we created nine years ago. We're still leading today, and for me, it's challenge. You know, we need we need to move on. Mm. Uh, for now, if if not, if we have had uh, deregulation, proper deregulation in Nigeria, maybe we would have uh, we have advanced to refineries and things like that. Mm. Now, coming to football, uh, coming to football, what we have done is to create this infrastructure, because once you have this infrastructure, these are the basics. You know, uh, it's privately driven. Uh, what we want to do is to have people, 50,000 uh, families, in November. November is just three months from now. So FIFA president is, part, is partnering with us because nobody is giving people life. Young boys that doesn't even cannot afford to buy a socks, they, they will have boots, have socks, have football, and then just go through the stages of... You know, tapping 200 uh, football. You know, standing somewhere, tapping 200. Then you 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 have a, a opportunity of coming into the academy, sco uh, scholarship to our academy. The, so all so, these things, sorry, doctor, but all these things are beautiful. They are they are the things Nigerians have you know, glad and, and and begged for. And here it is. Everybody's rejoicing with you. You know the problem, the maintenance. Well, I don't understand um, why sometimes people don't believe, especially people from this part of the world, they don't believe Nigerians. The issue is this. Uh, you must appreciate and understand their capacity. So many people come with bogus projects, and at the end of the day, they leave the project. But if you look at everybody, uh, there's, a, there's a, what we call records. You now understand um, this is not a we, we I don't do, I, I have never been part of any government uh, project. I have never done government contract in my life. Um, you know my history. You know things I do. I take on anything I want to do. I do it and I close it at, at that point. So for me, going into this is also a win-win situation for me. It's going to bring a lot of cash to us. Uh, if I pick up a, a, a boy from the, the, the rural area, bring him to a, a star player, that would be something for the, the for the foundation. So why 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 won't why what am I doing? Mm. So it's money. So if we, when we go into the into into the financial analysis of how you can bring in these talents, take them to international, and then at the same time, even if you say peanut, you know that you you end or the foundation ends at the end of the day, you will be very very happy. It it's more than enough to take care of our facilities. Good. Sorry. Uh, what about the polio project? I hear there's another project you're doing, which is polio. Um, tell me about it. No, we are supporting polio. Uh, you can see uh, we are supporting uh, Rotary International. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, polio. Unfortunately, we thought polio has been totally eradicated, but we just discovered that polio is came back this year. Uh, we were celebrating, you know, uh, thinking about um, uh, we've gone away with polio. Okay. But um, it's, part of, uh, it's part of our corporate social responsibility. Your hands are really filled up, aren't they? 208 <laughs> <laughs> is the number for you to call and get us on the line. Callers have just joined me on the line. Hello, caller. Welcome. It is your program. Where's your, what's the name and where are you calling from? My name is Chingwe from uh, London. Hello, Chingwe. You're calling from London. Yes. Go on, please. Yeah, I want to really commend the Fanyo, but he's indeed the son of the soil. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I want to uh, congratulate the Fanyo, but he's indeed the son of the soil. We are so happy to have you, especially being a Navy man. And you are doing this thing for the work of God and the, the, the whole of the Anambarians. And I congratulate you so much. The good Lord will continue to protect you, guide you, prosper every work of your hands. Thank you. May God continue to give you more knowledge. Amen. Thank you. Thank Jesus. you, Nchingwe. I really appreciate it. <laughs>
Thank you, Chingwe. Another caller joins us. I'm told this Ngozi from London. Hello, Ngozi. Welcome to the program. Yes, thank you. Good. Ngozi, are you Can with I us? Yes, yeah, please. Please go on with your comments. Okay. Okay, because of time, <laughs> there won't be any, any waste of time. I'm so sorry. Okay, Chukuma, let, let, let's get back to, to the, the local league. Bob, I, I'm, to, uh, I'm going to come to you, Barry, in a, in, a, in a minute. I didn't leave you out, please. <laughs> when there's a masquerade, you know what, what, what happens. Okay, let, let's, players have always had problems with sign-on fees, problems with NFF, not signing them rightly, visa and all of that. How are you guys trying to solve this issue? Well, um, thank you very much. Presently, there's nothing like sign-on fee in the Nigerian League. Mm -hmm. The LMC came up and uh, tried to do a kind of restructuring in the league because uh, that sign-on fee had, uh, you know, on so many occasions, uh, caused a lot of problems. A lot of clubs might come up, make a promise, and at the end of the day, they're not able to keep. You know, that you can see most of the questions that, that was coming up here, it's all about trust. Uh, so presently, uh, uh, you, you, you can take off a player from a club, whatever agreement you have with the club, you see it, but the players don't have that sole right to receive any large sum. What they're entitled to is their salaries. Mm. So, I mean, uh, there, presently there's nothing like sign-on fee. And uh, in terms of sustainability, that's what we've been working on. In terms of uh, having, to, making sure the players get their pays, we, we, we came up and came up with a standard. We tell you what we will pay. Last season was a bit difficult, but trust me, this season, from the beginning of the season, we were having problems with, you know, having to decide on which player to take because we had a test run and they have seen it work and they don't have a choice than to run to where they know that has a face. That is FC Fire, but I have no view that. You know, I understand. I'm not bragging about it. I understand. But, you know, <laughs> presently, this is the club to be in Nigeria. Good. So what we are trying to say, as an Anambarian, don't get jealous of me, please. <laughs> okay, what we are trying to say is that any minute from, you know, from now on, we should be having more of the Anambarians in the Super Eagles. So that brings me to the issues of the Super Eagles. Okay, now the Super Eagles haven't qualified for anything. Okay, they, uh, they, they are not doing well, if you have to put it that way. Coaches have been changed almost every day. They, they change coaches like clothes. They are preparing for, for the World Cup. Only God knows what will happen. Then again, let me bring you in, um, Barry. What do you think is the problem of the Nigerian football in terms of changing coaches almost every day? Is it patience? I'm just giving you an idea. Um, to my own um, conclusion is uh, for Nigerian teams or Nigerian players to be able to go find football is the only thing Dr. Oba is doing for now. Mm -hmm. Opening up a football team, bringing in foreigners into Nigerian uh, football to play games, and um, to be able to project at least sell players outside the world, and um, uh, that's it. You know, to be able to project what people will see and uh, believe in him and believe in football of Nigeria today. Good. If I, but let, let, let's put it this way. I mean, people might say you are a very good man. You know, everybody will, will likes you because you want to. You want to give. You want to. You know, make, you just want to make people happy. But then again, it's not you. People around you might think what you are doing. That's just a thought from mine. I mean, if you see this coming, how are we solving this problem that looks very very dicey? Which of the problems? The problem that Nigeria has always had and the problem of people that are in London that are citing for you are telling you that you might be a very good man, but there might be people around you who will drag this down, this fame, which to comes to maintenance. No, 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 no. This is a private initiative and uh, um, the name is very, very important. Um, our name has been, uh, is, uh, is something that, you know, like, all, like I always say that um, sometimes it's... Uh, I highly misunderstood, sometimes controversial, but um, we've never gone back in any project that we, um, we took on. Uh, for me, uh, I, see, I see gold in everything I do. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a bit of see, uh, corporate social responsibility. There's a bit of uh, goodwill uh, in uh, all sector of it. But also, we are bringing dividend to our uh, organization. 
So you, you between two, between the last one year, we've been involved in so many ventures. We are into media, we're into football, we're into so many other things in Nigeria almost at the same time. But everyone has, you can see, the chairman of the football is here. So he knows how to manage this football. And then um, the group is also doing a lot of things. But we have not backed out from any project in the last 20 years in our group. Uh, football, we are seeing gold in football. And uh, there's a lacuna. There's a lacuna in the athletics. So everything is money. You know, it depends on how you can now change the dynamics. Can I, can I you ask know? you something? Yeah. A favor. Yeah, go ahead. Can you help me change, please, mm. athletics in Nigeria? But that is it. Uh, I mean, why will, uh, why will we be allowing our athletes to be running down? You know, I'm moving and then... Some don't eat for three so, days. So, 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 that's why you need somebody who have a capacity. And that's why we are taking, you know, closing that gap. There's always, whenever we see a gap in anything, how do you call a country of 170 million people not producing one medal in the Olympic? It's anarchy. For me, it's a, it's a gold mine for me. It's not about... The question shouldn't be if he's going to sustain. The question is, wow, why would this man be so lucky, be so blessed to take this? I'm taking it. You know, it's for me, it's what am I doing? Every business we are doing, for me, I have, um, we, we've come to the epic of it. And then, uh, you know, Nigeria is a country that um, government policy also sometimes uh, uh, change the narratives of business. But in sports, you know, there's nothing. Okay. In sport, there's nothing. So it's, for me, it's a good mind. Good. That will be my last caller. I'm sorry. So many of you are queuing up to talk to me on, on, on the show. But because of time, this will be my last caller. I am being told I have Stanley from Abuja. Hello, Stanley. Nice to know you're watching. Um, how are you doing? Yes. Very good. Um, my question really is regarding the football in uh, in Nigeria. The uh, chief is doing very well, but what more can they do to encourage the youth, especially since we have a lot of empty stadiums in Nigeria? Thank you. Good. Empty stadiums in Nigeria, how can we help this? Well, uh, in Nehru today, um, at the stage we are building, uh, we have close to, we, have, uh, we, we are achieving 17,000 now. And we're moving to the next level, the upper level. And uh, we are the only football uh, stadium uh, in Nigeria that is full to the brim in every match. So it, that's why I said it's a Midas touch. It depends on how you, you, how you swag your own business and what you want to do, achieve. For us, uh, people, how can people enter into a pitch when there's no incentives to people? Why would people, you know, there's a lot of things. For us, we have a way we've been able to dissect our business, and we're having full, uh, full crowd in every, in every home match of our team. And uh, it's something that is uh, inspiring. For me, um, uh, I just want people to have patience, and then let's see the next four months. Uh, where we will be because it's just you know good things happening every month every every week every month good. careful know. with this answer uh, which i'm going to give you the question right. the nigerian football federation perhaps is in tatars there's allegations that um, benik might have resigned but in your mm. own vein in your own vein how can how can nff come together again well i don't think there's a problem with nff uh, i don't think there's a problem uh, Pinik is a nice uh, president. Uh, he's a professional. He did very so well in Delta State football. And uh, it's about support. You don't, have, um, you don't have a country where budgets are not uh, uh, implemented at the right time. It, there's no preparation. There's, uh, in, in, I, I don't need to go to tell you that on a personal capacity, I supported the Nigerian Olympic team that went to Rio. I gave them money to, to take the athletes to the camp. It, it is not something that is not something that is anybody's hiding. Mm -hmm. They can make a call to the minister, make a call to the, you know. But it's it, for the quiet war. No, no, it, it, even, no, no, it's not something I, I, I'm proud to do, say it, yeah. you know, because, you know, uh, if the system does not permit them to have money, you know, somebody who is uh, passionate about these athletes can support them, and then maybe later they can reimburse me. But the issue remains that I did it, you know, in order to encourage them. It's not that they don't, they don't want to work.
not. They don't have. They don't have to go and break the central bank. They don't have to get uh, the, the seniors to uh, approve the bill. They don't have to go and then knock on the president's door. So things are a bit quiet or a bit slow, mm -hmm. but it will get better. Everybody, every state, every government passes through this kind of, you know, um, system. Uh, I'm just praying that um, there's. Um, it's high time Nigerian. We continue to trust Nigerians. Mm -hmm. It's hard time we continue to do things because, you know, we should, we should, even while we continue to look at the past, but we need to move the country forward. Mm -hmm. So for me, uh, I, I, I am not trying to, I, I, we need to continue to, 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 to promote Nigeria. It's mm -hmm. so important to everybody today. Look at today in the West Ham, Nigeria companies been, uh, but other, co other companies are there. Uh, 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 this uh, bet betways are from South Africa, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, Lika mobiles and so many Israelis, so many people, you know. And and and, and Nigeria, we're, we're very proud. We're very so, proud so of Nigeria, what Nigeria, done. Nigeria is there, mm -hmm. and we make capital oil and gas industry limited Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So we added Nigeria to us so people can understand it is not a capital oil from any other place that is from Nigeria. We should be proud of our country. So, so, so I'm, I'm I'm encouraging everybody. Let us not look at maintenance because yes. It took these people so many years, so many decades to, to get to their level. Mm -hmm. And we are coming up. And by the grace of God, we need also so many of these our Nigerians back here to come back to home and help us. Yeah. If they have anything they want to, uh, want to offer us, look at what we are doing, believe in what we are doing, and then, you know, you, you don't need FIFA president only to come and support us while our own fellow Nigerians are not supporting us. Right, and we must also also give government help. It doesn't matter. It's not about being boastful. It's not about being, you know, bragging. But I mean, sometimes you, you don't... Somebody from Japan came, a doctor from Japan came and gave our, super, um, our boys money in uh, Brazil. So by the time we we'll do... If government... If by the time we run uh, integrity test on this money, it's a support. It's, so it's not just about government and the government, and then you know that uh, government is so tough in Nigeria. So I'll, I'll leave it at that point. Uh. Good. Because of that, time will not permit us thank to you, take more you, of you. you. But you, then again, you. I have to say congratulations. You, I'm also told that you, you built um, the cathedral um, out there in Anambra. You, you just keep amazing us, isn't it? Please, please, please. <laughs> you just keep uh, amazing us with what you've done. But then again, we will say that any time you are in, in, in London, to be precise, the doors are open for you to come and talk to the Londoners because uh, I can see that some of them are still on the phone saying we want to speak to him. But <laughs> then there's no time for us to do that. Chukuma, I mean, you guys are doing well. Well, but you. I want the next time I shake your hands, it will be you telling me we are now in the CAF Champions League. Please. Yeah, we're we're in semi final. Good. Two matches to go. And, and we are there. Yeah, Two yeah. matches to go. <laughs> yeah. You know, today we are, we are, we are uh, we, I think we've moved to fifth position Good. in the league. So we may have double. Good. So right. it's okay. Also, Barry, thanks for coming into the program. Thank you very much. Um, that's the program, guys. Um, time won't permit us to go more, but then again, it says it all. I mean, it's just as open as that. Um, everything has just done very well. Um, and I'm brave people. That's what he wants to do. Just you know, make everything right with Anambra people and extend it to Nigeria in general. Thank you, um, thank you guys for coming in. I remain yours sincerely. I haven't changed my name. I won't. On the day I do, you will be the first to know. Let's do the show 5 p.m. on Saturday. And when again, it will brainstorm with other stories. Bye bye. Fine.